What if the world's most powerful institutions could no longer control trust? What if transactions, contracts, and ownership didn't require middlemen? Welcome to the story of Virelia, a city ruled by the Grand Registry, until a revolutionary idea emerged, the chain of truth. In this video, I'll take you on a journey through the fall of centralized power and the rise of decentralization. You'll witness how a group of visionaries challenged an unjust system, how blockchain technology reshapes trust, and why decentralization is the key to a more secure, transparent, and fair digital world. Decentralization isn't just a concept, it's a revolution that cannot be undone. Watch until the end to discover how blockchain technology is shaping the future. In the bustling metropolis of Virelia, all financial and legal transactions flowed through a single entity, the Grand Registry. Controlled by a council of elites, the registry was the backbone of the city, ensuring every contract, purchase, and agreement passed through its watchful eyes. For years, it maintained order, but at a cost. Transaction fees soared, approvals took weeks, and corruption crept in like an unrelenting shadow. The people had no choice but to accept the system, believing it was the only way. Then, a group of visionaries known as the Liberators emerged with a radical idea, a ledger that no one owned, yet everyone could trust. They called it the Chain of Truth, a decentralized network where transactions were recorded across countless independent nodes. No single authority could manipulate it, and every entry was permanent, transparent, and immutable. Unlike the Grand Registry, which operated behind closed doors, this new system allowed anyone to verify the truth for themselves. At first, the registry scoffed at the idea, calling it reckless and ungovernable. But as more citizens embraced the chain of truth, the cracks in the old system became undeniable. Merchants no longer paid exorbitant fees. Artists secured rights to their work without middlemen, and deals executed seamlessly through self-enforcing contracts. Power, once concentrated in the hands of a few, now belonged to the many. The registry, feeling its grip slipping, declared the chain of truth illegal, branding its users as dissidents. A war of ideology ensued. The registry launched aggressive campaigns, shutting down access points, seizing assets, and threatening harsh penalties. But decentralization had no single point of failure. Nodes sprung up in hidden locations, powered by those who refused to submit. Information traveled through encrypted channels, ensuring the chain of truth could not be erased. What had started as a mere alternative had grown into a full-fledged movement, one that even the most powerful rulers could not control. In time, the Grand Registry collapsed under the weight of its own inefficiency. Without absolute control over trust, its influence waned, and the people of Virelia found themselves free from its chains. The city did not fall into chaos as the registry had warned. Instead, it flourished like never before, driven by a new system that valued security, transparency, and fairness above all else. The chain of truth was no longer just a technology. It was a testament to the power of decentralization, a revolution that could never be undone.